Welcome to Creature Fridays, where I give you a quick introduction to one of the animal species found in the UK. Subscribe to Ferro Forest to keep learning about UK nature. For the first video, we're going to take a look at Perdix Perdix, or the Grey Partridge. As their name suggests, the Grey Partridge is a bird with grey feathers, although red, brown and orange markings do cover its body. It has a particularly distinctive orange face, orangey brown stripes down its sides, and a dark horseshoe shaped patch on its belly. At 30 centimetres tall, and with a wingspan of 46 centimetres, and a weight of 390 grams, the grey partridge is slightly smaller than the non-native red-legged partridge which shares its habitat. As a ground-dwelling bird, if disturbed, the grey partridge will prefer to run away instead of fly. If necessary, it will take off, flying lower to the ground than many other UK birds. The flash of its chestnut tail as it bursts from the undergrowth, and the sound of its rick-rick-rick call as it goes, are all telltale signs that the grey partridge is fleeing something. During the breeding season, they're well known for being one of the largest clutch layers in the world. Females can produce upwards of 19 eggs in a single clutch, although UK birds typically lay around 15 eggs. The females sit on the eggs for around 25 days, keeping them warm until the chicks hatch. The chicks then leave their nest hours after hatching, but must wait another 16 days before they can fledge and take their first flight. As a highly sociable species, it's normal to see the entire family join up with one or two other family groups, forming one unit known as a covey until the next breeding season starts. Grey partridges will typically start breeding at a year old, and usually only live until three years old, although the oldest wild grey partridge was discovered to be just over five years old. The grey partridge can be seen all year round throughout the UK, typically found in lowland farming regions, although it's now mostly gone from Northern Ireland. They're one of our staple birds and act as indicators of our farmland ecosystem health. Where grey partridge populations are doing better, farmland ecosystems overall are doing better. Our relationship with them extends far back, with fossil evidence of grey partridges in Britain during the Devensian. The Devensian is the name given to the most recent period of time that the UK was covered in glaciers. It ended 12,000 years ago, at the onset of the current geological time period, the Holocene. Despite having lived here for so long and being once common across the UK, grey partridges are now categorised as red on the conservation priority birds list, meaning they're in the highest priority category that we have. The decline of predators and expansion of farmland in the late 1800s led to the expansion of grey partridge populations, so much so that millions of them were shot each year without impacting their overall population. Unfortunately, between the 1960s and 2010, their population declined by roughly 90%, and even now there are only an estimated 37,000 breeding pairs in the UK. The cause of the grey partridge decline is thought to come from two fronts. Firstly, their breeding habitat is dense hedgerows and vegetation found beside grasslands and farmlands, where they lay their eggs on the ground in a grass-lined scrape. The intensification of agriculture has degraded much of this habitat, leaving nesting grey partridges particularly vulnerable to attacks from birds of prey. Secondly, for the chicks that do manage to hatch, their source of food for the first 10 days of life is primarily insects, before they switch to eating leaves and seeds as they age. The use of pesticides in the UK has greatly reduced insect abundance, and so many animals that rely on them as a food source are also declining, as seen in the grey partridge by their reduced chick survival rates. In response to the threats being faced by grey partridges, the government nominated the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust as a lead partner to help with the species recovery. Between 2002 and 2010, the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust set up the Royston Demonstration Project, which successfully demonstrated to farmers and landowners how they could conserve grey partridges within modern farming landscapes. The approach was from three fronts controlling grey partridge predators, improving and creating grey partridge habitat, and supplementary feeding for the birds in both summer and winter. The GWCT currently runs an ongoing monitoring project called the Partridge Count Scheme, which consists of an online portal that people across the UK can use to submit their grey partridge sightings twice a year. By monitoring population trends and working alongside landowners, it's hoped that the populations of grey partridge can recover. If you enjoyed learning about this animal, check out some of my other videos.